doing auto injury law and specifically focusing a practice on that, I mean, that is not a small area of law. I, I'm sometimes amazed that other firms would attempt to do more than that because um, it is a large uh, group of issues. Um, those lost wages, those, uh, those issues relating to pain and suffering, medical bills, uh, did the medical bills get reimbursed? Does the health insurance get reimbursed? Um, uh, what types of insurance coverage would cover a particular injury? Is it going to be liability? Is it going to be an umbrella coverage? Uh, uninsured motorist, underinsured motorist, med pay, these are all issues that all have intricacies interplaying between them. And uh, you need to maximize what the client gets because they've often paid for these types of coverages and they deserve the benefit of what they've, they've paid for. Um, but Auto injury law, you, if you're not focused on that specifically, you could, you could miss some chances and some opportunities to really uh, effectively uh, get the kind of representation that, that a client needs. Um, and so we decided not to do uh, medical malpractice. It's important to have a good relationship with the doctors that are experts, and so that's one reason to, to focus on that. Social Security Disability, uh, slip and falls, um, all these other types of claims that people are making, we came to the conclusion there was such a large body of things to understand and to have our staff, our paralegals, our legal assistants, our investigators uh, understand as well. It was better to focus the energy and effort so we could uh, you know, use every technique, learn all the new things that are going on, the different changes with tort reform as it relates to an injury that comes out of an auto accident.